Hey, you're watching Dr. Terry Bull again. Shame on you. You can't help yourselves, I understand. All right, this week we're going to address a few uh, more messages to Dr. Mark. One from Imogen Hansen. Im I don't know if it's Imogen or Imogen. Imogen sounds like an over-the-counter drug. I don't know, Imogen Hansen. He, said, he asked, why are docs using an iPhone as their torch? Do they not have proper medical tools that light up? Well, of course we do. We have proper torches. Take a look at this. As you can see, it's a proper torch, but it might upset some patients. So, we tend to go with the iPhone sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Next, GMD Sons. He says, loving his acronyms, I would KMS if I would have to get a job like that. KMS. Uh, I'm a bright guy. I can figure it out. First, I'm thinking, is it uh, knock me silly? Is it keep moving south? Is it kiss mysterious strangers? Now, I figured it out. He's, he's meaning I would know more stuff if I had to get a job like that. Of course you would have to know more stuff. Doctors go to school for years and years. This goes without saying. Dinson Doe asks, they check your Johnson? These are high school athletes, Dinson. Some of them may be participating in track and field. You know, high jumpers and hurdlers. There are dangers inherent in those particular sports and they gotta make sure things will not get in the way. I am kidding you, Denson. Seriously, are you male? You have never been for a physical? Does the phrase turn your head and cough mean anything? They're checking for hernia, right? Get a life, man. Finally, we have one from McJigglybits. McJigglybits simply wants to know, do you like my name? McJigglybits, we're doctors. All we do all day long is look at jiggly bits. We get tired of it, actually. So no, I don't, I don't particularly like the name. If you were working in a potato chip factory, you get pretty tired of potato chips. You follow me? All right. We'll catch you next time. That's terrible.